Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Golfport number FR180 wire anchor. So this is an anchor that is used to set frames into a masonry condition where you have the frame is welded to one piece, it is placed in position, it is generally secured to the floor, the spreader bars are kept on the frame or the transportation bars those bars are not meant to indicate that the frame is square at all. They're just meant to keep the legs in position uh, during the travel from the shop to the job site. Um, confirming that the frame is square is not the job of the transportation bars, which are called spreader bars. Um, frame is in place and then you start to bring your course of block brick up the sides of the frame. And as those courses are coming up, the mason is backfilling the frame with, uh, with mortar uh, into the throat. You'll get to a certain course and you will position this into the throat of the frame. And this portion will lay between two courses of block or whatever the masonry is. Okay, uh, And then you will trowel that on, block goes in, you'll continue to backfill to your next course and your next course. 6870 doors are usually three frame, uh, anchors per jam. 80 would be four. I like to follow the logic of hinges for doors up to 60 inch. You have two hinges. For every 30 inch thereafter, you add an additional hinge. I use anchor for that as well. Uh, nothing to say that you can't have four anchors on a 3070. Nothing to say you can't have anchors in the head as well if your application calls for it. Now, there are some people who will not accept a wire anchor. Um, there are some people that will happily accept a wire anchor. And what I usually find is those who will accept it, use it. They know it's effective. They know it works. It's inexpensive and easy to handle, uh, you know, and, uh, and does the job. Those that will not accept it, in my opinion, have the perception that it's not an effective way to anchor the frame. In reality, based on my experience and that of others within the industry, wire anchors are dreadfully effective at sealing uh, the frame in the opening. And what happens is the mortar has, because of its shape, can completely submerse, uh, bury the anchor <clears throat> thoroughly in the mortar. It literally becomes part of that installation <clears throat> where there is a huge continuous column of mortar between this entire area and then of course layered on top and, bol uh, and below the wire material itself which is made of steel um, probably is a white coat galvanized type product wire diameter one point pardon me <laughs> one point point one seven seven 0.177, so almost a sixteenth of an inch. So you have this entire column of mortar that would prevent the anchor from slipping out. And, and people who don't want them, in my experience, have never used them, meaning I've never heard someone say, I used wire anchors and it failed. I've never heard that. Although I have had people tell me that the T anchor has pulled out, which is literally shaped like a T and is corrugated. So in my opinion, I would not ignore the wire anchor uh, because it is known to be effective and it can help you accommodate different jam thicknesses as well. The way that this comes from the factory happens to spread pretty nicely for a five and three quarter frame. You got a six and three quarter frame, great. You got an eight and three quarter frame, great. There you go. Okay, you get the concept. So that makes it really nice. You have four and three quarter, great. There you go. Uh, that's the other nice thing about wire anchors. They're light, they're effective, they're easy to put in. People understand how they get put into the throat of the frame um, with these uh, legs that are here as well. Uh, sold as each. When you buy one, we'll ship you one. Be mindful. Generally six per frame or maybe eight per frame. Some people will order some extras. You know, are they going to break or show up defective? No. Uh, could you lose some in the process of setting the frame? I suppose but six per frame. So let's switch to the screen view and take a look at some supporting documentation. Okay, so this is the item indeed that we're looking at. A little bit of dimensional properties here. You can see that they have eight and a half inch and putting my tape measure on it. Um, yeah, eight and a half inch would be indeed from the top 
of the anchor to the shelf or shoulder here. Okay, eight and a half inch. It has a one inch um, offset. And the way that this anchor is going to fit into your frame is quite frankly simply going to just look like the following. So you'll have a five and three quarter frame. Literally what's going to happen here now is your anchor is going to set here just like this. Okay, Same sort of concept. Sorry for the poor drawing. That's how it's going to set and then you'll obviously stretch that in or out to accommodate the jam depth of what you're dealing with. Okay, Very effective because all of this is literally filled with mortar, all of it. Whereas in a T anchor, you know, your installation is, your continuity of mortar is interrupted by this entire portion where there would be a void of mortar here. And you can see the concept of why that might slip out. I've never had people pull on a frame to pull it out, but I've had people extracting frames to realize that it came out awfully easy with a T anchor. So let's not discount the good old wire anchor in terms of its effectiveness. The only downside of the wire anchor is if you get a thousand of them from the factory in a barrel, they're going to be dreadfully tangled and as a uh, probably as a four as probably as a 13 or 14 year old or gosh even 11 or 12 working in the family shop, one of my duties was to, take all of the wire anchors, the barrels of wire anchors, and tape them or arrange them into sets of six. Um, and it was quite a snarly, snaggly mess of wire anchors. Although those other wire anchors were made by the Kalani Corporation and their ends were a bit more difficult to deal with because they were snaked back like this and they really hung up in this area. Anyway, these anchors won't connect together unintentionally as much. Link to the manufacturer's page is here, and I'd like for you to open that up so we can take a look at the parts catalog, which is really handy because if you were to search for FR180, actually it'd be space, pardon me, it'd be FR space 180, you'll get to that area where you will find, um, you know, the wire anchors that they manufacture. These have those returned back around. Um, you know, the typical common wire anchor. This one's nice because it does give you more insertion into the frame. Uh, this two and a half inch at a 45 degree angle. Don't sell many of those, and I think it's just because people aren't aware of them. This is nice as well, um, and if you're going to flex that out to a greater throat opening, I would probably go with this because by the time you force this out, these sides are going to be more parallel to the face. Whereas when you force this one out, it's not going to happen. So I would be very encouraged um, to suggest that if you're dealing with eight and three quarter or deeper frames, go with the FR180C um, is what I would do. Or you know consider the FR180A exclusively. But for generic, 95% of the time, five and three quarter frames, the FR180 is the wire anchor to use. Um, lots of different anchors are in here, and if you are in the, in the need for anchors, this would be a great catalog to use. The people who buy these from us are not your manufacturers, they're not your distributors, because they buy that material either, you know, they make their own uh, if you're a manufacturer or you are bringing the anchors in from the manufacturer uh, of your hollow metal doors. The people who buy this material from us are the contractors who get the frames to the site to only realize that the distributor neglected to include them in the shipment of which I'm certainly in my past guilty of more than once and it's awful and as a result of that I like the FR686 masonry anchor because it's welded into the throat of the frame and therefore when you load the truck to go to the job site because they're welded in you can't forget the anchors they're welded in so that's why I like the welded in T anchors those are used in masonry uh, UL they were used in UL applications where you had a UL three hour, hour fire opening and the way that the three hour test was conducted was with a welded in strap anchor or, or yoke, strap and yoke anchor they call these. Um, lots of different anchors are here. Double egress T, double egress 
uh, metal stud, double egress wood stud, um, you know, special base anchors, uh, weird T anchors if you've got an odd wall configuration. These are notched like this because you can fold them over or break them off for different jam depths. Lots of helpful anchors here, and we endeavor to stock a handful of this different material, or at least the common material, like pipe anchors and butterfly anchors and sleeve anchors. So if you are that contractor and you don't have anchors or you receive the wrong anchor, someone sent out all <clears throat> wood stud anchors and the mason asks you, what am I supposed to do with this? Um, you might be looking at purchasing some wire anchors. I could talk about all of these anchors at length and would be happy to uh, if you were unsure of what anchor type to use. Reinforcements for hinge and hardware preparations are in here as well. And I would encourage you to review this catalog. The link to the manufacturer's page will allow you to review not only all of the Gulfport products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as that link to the parts catalog, and then their product catalog. And they have hardware. They're um, certainly going to be participating in importing commercial builder's hardware from overseas. I don't have any experience with Gulfport exits or lock sets. I would be surprised if it wasn't completely on par with every other garden variety importer of builders hardware from Asia. Um, let's wrap up this video on camera. Now regarding my comment earlier about people who will not accept these, don't try to push the matter. I have tried to reason with people who wanted a, wanted a T-anchor and we didn't have any. We had only wire anchors and they will not switch that anchor type. Um, and what I think the thinking is, is because, listen, if I install it the way that you tell me to install it, and then in a year the frame is loose, it's my problem. And that's the, uh, f the pushback that you get. So, you know, I think the facts are clear about wire anchors, but I also think the facts are clear about when a client wants what a client feels like they can rely and depend on. And um, here is a wire anchor from Gulfport. Uh, if you have any questions on the FR-180 wire anchor or any other Gulfport product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.